Hi, my name's Natalie. Welcome to Control. I'm going to be showing you around today. Would you like to come with me? In Control, we're unable to leave the building when we're on shift, so we spend a lot of time here in our canteen. Of course, we have to bring in our own lunch and dinner, and if we forget, we starve. Only joking, we have lots of supplies. We need them to keep us awake on our wakeful nights. Off to the training area. This is our dedicated training area. Let's go and have a look. Our new entrants spend their first eight weeks here learning the job. In control, if we get really busy and we get lots of 999 calls, a recall alarm goes and we have to go straight back down to the control room. Shall we go there now? Welcome to the control room. This is where the magic happens. You can see all the operators are sitting around the room and at the back over there, that's where the supervisor and the officer of the watch sits. Would you like to go and meet some of them? Hi, I'm Kira. I'm a control room officer. Hi, I'm Becky. I'm also a control room officer. We deal with a lot of incidents um, on a daily basis. This can range from fires to flooding to gas leaks, chemical incidents, uh, road traffic collisions and incidents that happen on the River Thames as well. We also deal with quite a few bizarre incidents as well. Um, for example, I've had um, someone calling up trying to order McDonald's um, from us as well. Yeah, I've had somebody who phones up asking how to disable his Facebook. So yeah, we can get quite um, bizarre calls sometimes. However, the job is very demanding. Um, we can have lots of incidents going on in one go uh, where we have to be um, really focused and um, in charge basically. Um, we could be speaking with firefighters, members of public, while also liaising with other control officers and operations managers. The job is very challenging, um, but we are ultimately the first responders at the other end of the phone when people are calling for the worst day of their life. Hi, I'm Robin. I'm a watch supervisor here in Brigade Control. So part of our role as supervisors here is looking after the room in terms of the wider picture. So not just dealing with particular incidents, but we've got to look at staffing levels, um, staff welfare, and also that uh, service that we're giving to the people of London. Um, now, you may have noticed behind me here that we have this map. It's our dynamic cover tool. Um, if I could explain to you a little bit about what its purpose is. Uh, it's fed in real time from our mobilising system, so you'll see it change. Effectively, what it is telling us is what fire cover we have around London. And by that, I mean where all our resources, where all our fire engines are, and what areas, what the fire cover is like in each area. So we work on the traffic light principle in terms of green is good. So where you've got green areas, that's good. That means we've got very good cover. We can get fire engines to instance very quickly. Where we've got an instant that uh, requires a large number of resources, that then becomes red. You'll see little pockets of red and larger areas of red as well, larger circles. Now, there, um, that's all relating to times. So how long it will take fire engines to get to instance. Um, and that's updated in real time from our mobilising system. Um, so that's a very, very useful tool that we use to help us manage those resources. Hope you enjoyed your tour. 